welcome back guys so one of the questions i was asked is this one it shows like you need uh, one team of the attacker on your lineup to play these events uh, that would ensure that we would get one starting 11 player harry kane in this case or with ronaldo you need two and with messi you need three so okay let's see Okay, Leo Messi would be in CS. Leo Messi needs three and Ronaldo means uh, needs two. These are not star tires, guys. These are the team of the year nominees. You could get them from the pools or you could get lucky and you could get them from any of these events. I've seen a lots of people getting these uh, team of the year attacker nominees from this uh, playing these events itself. And some get lucky and pull them from the uh, 500k packs as well. Uh, neither happened uh, to me, uh, unfortunately. But the pulls has been so many. The drop rate for uh, the elites has been good, but the drop rate for this uh, tokens or attacker points has been very low. And anyway. You could just buy, if you have enough coins saved up, you could just buy one from the uh, market and use. the. There are some available, say, say Cavani and Lukaku have seen for less than uh, 1 million. Then Hazard, Sanchez, there are a few uh, available around, let's say, 1.1, 1.2 million. Okay. And, again, for... To be to be able to complete this, we need to have one uh, team of the year attacker or a team of the year midfielder and all. I did even though I did not get any team of the year attacker. What I did was I'm not going to follow up on the attacker one. I um, I chose the defender one because there's a, a beautiful seven and a half million coins, and by completing this, I'll get another two point five million. It's like 10 million coins which would uh, help me a lot uh, at this point in time so I am waiting for that one and not the other one anyway uh, so I just bought Lukaku and sold him back again if you want these uh, points this completing for completing this achievement you can just you guys can also do the same if you play the defender event uh, you will get plenty of coins as well okay uh, so and the team of the year every year there's a market crash along with the team of the year and it is official guys look at the price of Lukaku he's going around 1030 when I bought him he was around uh, 960k uh, now he's 1.03 million uh, say Kavani Kavani is around uh, say 930 i've seen him up to 860 actually kamani uh sometimes he's even uh, around say nine okay let, let's try 940 itself uh it because it varies uh, people buy them then the price goes up a little then again more people coming to the market yes you can see he's available for 920 939 it's 930 it seems to be the going right at the moment for kamani which is a um, not too high and there are guys remember for say 88 overall or above players the going rate was like uh, three four million now it has come down sharply let us see uh, for starters some of these uh, okay let us start with the team of the anomalies say above 88 overall let's see if there are any available you can see uh, the Suarez card is available for 1.03 million he's he's 89 overall but the thing is it's a right forward card which means we don't use it that much same with this hazard card amazing card but left forward again this Sanchez card before the team of the week this is going at 88 overall in form card or the team of the week card. It is going at say 2.5 million, 2.2 million. Now it's at 
uh, 1 million. This left wing Sanchez is going at 1.1 million. Suarez is, you can even see him at just 1 million. You guys could, this is amazing. I'm pretty sure that these may not be the best investment, but once the team of the year ends, uh, these prices would be at least about 2 million for sure. Uh, okay, then say some others. Some other nice ones would be like say Mpapa is a great one because he has uh, really nice stats. And his position is right wing which means uh, people would use him a lot. That is even though he's an 85 he's going around uh, 15 Okay, uh, is uh, around 1.5 million. He's around, and you can see his stats. That's the reason why he is going for this much. He's an amazing pace boost, which is my favorite boost in this game. You can see at 85 itself has <laughs> an unbelievable card at 85. So that's the reason why he's going this much. And once the event ends, he's going to be, uh, say, 2.5 to 3 million. Which is again unbelievable and not only about the this team of the year cards about normal cards what has happened to them yes let's see what has happened to them. you guys remember Neymar he is go he was going at uh, three four millions he was going and let's see let's say two million that's a that was sharp loss right <laughs> look at that guys this guy was going over 4 million 3 million 4 million and now he's available for 1.8 this is a normal card of Neymar and this is unbelievable just <sighs> the market is it's not the market has crashed guys the market has crashed like so much and let's say elites, just any elite player. Earlier you put anybody at uh, for say 450k or 475k, they would just get sold in minutes. And now let's say 400k. Elites at 400k below, it's unbelievable, right? But look at it, guys. Nobody is even buying this. There's an 81 or like 385. Ederson was he was going in over 500k earlier just one day ago I checked and he was going at because he's a Brazilian as well and city goalkeeper he was going at the inform one was going around above 500k and now look at all these guys uh, this is smartness look at him Lovan is going at 370 Forsberg at 395 83 Firmino at 395 which is which is crazy Ederson, Luca, Ederson has plenty of cards because now everybody is trying to make coins for buying the 500k coins back which means every player is cheap now so if you have gold coins saved up this would be the best time to invest those coins because in 14 days when the team of the year ends the price for these co these cards the ones going at 3 say 380 you can buy these and that will be up 500 500k you'll be selling them easily or you could like i said if you have enough coins you can buy somebody like a neymar we should be like an outrageous amount of profit uh, from that something from like a Neymar. Say another uh, beast who has uh, whose points has come down a lot. Sprays actually. Say Lava of uh, Bayern Munich Lewandowski. He was going around 2.5, 2.7 million at least earlier. And now I can find him for a cheap as. look at this guys is available for 1.03 million that is this amazing striker card guys this was 
his prices drop more than half which is which is unbelievable just can't believe it that was the prices drop because everybody is after the 500k packs the price hasn't dropped that much for CLA it has dropped actually but not that sharply why yes he's available for 1.5 but the one reason why it hasn't dropped as sharply as the other would be the defenders has not come yet when the defenders and goalkeepers and midfielders and all come then the prices would drop even further because he's not available for 1.5 now mark my words two days from now defenders will be available in a few hours say uh, in about four hours time from now the midfielders would be available and say 28 hours from now the defenders would be available and then the price would drop sharply for this as well okay and but not all midfielders and all are left either uh, their price are same either say let's take Pogba for example you know he is going around uh, say about 2 million now how for how much he goes now so guys if you don't sell a single player in this window guys he's available for 1.01 just wait for the team of the year to be over and he's you could easily sell him over 2 million guys that's if you are getting 1 million profit out of just one sale but in which you don't even have to snipe much nothing A couple of days uh, more also the defenders come uh, the midfielders come when they come also another 500k packs for defenders and midfielders will also be available and that will further decrease the value of these players and I would say let us uh, I would wait for a couple of days one, two days and then I would I would make some coins and I would invest them on these players because the price drop has been simply outrageous because these players are going to go for double of what they are going now so you can see Benzema is going easily for above 1 million just before this event came see at 83 this player Harry Kane was going well over a million he is now available at 6.8 which would be crazy and I would love to see how this stay when the icons come this weekend because the icons are gonna come this weekend and when the icons come it would be a lot more interesting to see how this uh, pans out let's once again before the sign off remember guys if you have guys have any place to sell I would say unless it is very emergency situation wait say wait a little bit and maybe sell them after the team of the year is over until then if you have coins invest guys if you don't if you're not in dire need of those coins if you can spare those coins for now invest it guys and if you snipe you can see even elites at around 300k i've seen some uh, you can see here one that went at 325 these are all like sure profit in a matter of two weeks i expect the prices to go up a little after everybody's done with their uh, attacker midfielder and defender 500k packs so it would be wise to buy this place before that itself you see two red 355 it is just it's unbelievable actually this crash so guys if you can invest on somebody like a Neymar or a Lewandowski or something the profit would be amazing and always also remember you don't have to pack those players you can just buy those players from here from the market and then buy as well uh, then use them for the achievements 
that's what I've been doing. The drop rate has been amazing as on Twitter. So many people are uh, getting them from the events itself. Okay, and one other thing I would like to explain. Is for the if you are free to play, the key should not be just which player to get. I would say what matters even more is what you get along with players. If you play the attackers one, what you get is skill boost along with players. You get uh, lots of skill boost. If you need, if that's what you need the maximum, then you can for that go for that. There would be some I have some friends who have lots of coins saved up. They need uh, experience points, and for them, this one would be amazing because it's amazing how treasures amount of training XP which you wouldn't find otherwise. And for the defenders, for people like me who don't have much coins left at the moment, I want what I want to do is I want to get this one. It would cost me around 90 defender tokens. I would get the first defender and and the 7.5 million coins, uh, which would give me. It's always 7.5. Yes, it's also 7.5. I think I won't be since I'm free to play. I don't think I'll reach any further than that. Anyway, I would be happy with that. I'll be buying and selling a one midfielder and one defender as well. That would give me enough points to have this 2.5 million as well, which would should be like. And uh, since I get that one starter, it's another. I would have 1k skill boost and. 10 million coins before the end of the team of the year and before the end of the team of the year we can use this 10 million coins for investing I'm pretty sure one week after the team of the year I would have say 20 million I can double this money and double this coins and then that would be huge for me I don't think I'm going to get uh, three team of the year starters and plus I get very lucky maybe at the end before the team of the year ends once I get this 10 million coins I may open the defender and midfielder uh, packs as well which would cost me another 2 million I won't be opening them now because guys remember you can open them once only and uh, twice you can open them and it's a one-time opportunity so it's better to maybe if you have coins like mine if I open the coin if I open them tomorrow for the midfielders then I won't be able to get the place from the market so I say I would wait and when I get these coins then I would try my luck because then even if I don't get them I'll be left with enough coins to do the tricks guys this is the best time to make coins guys this next 14 days and just grind uh, you can see I am not grinding at the moment I won't be grinding for a couple of days I'm just waiting for to see if the defenders won't come out soon but guys remember you get 2.5 k coins Susan final coins for every two uh, stamina so there also you get plenty of coins as I'm as a nice way of making coins and this 14 days is if you're free to play you cannot have the team of the year 11 guys uh, forget about it getting three players almost impossible unless you are very very lucky that's possible only if i've seen somebody uh, getting team of the year cristiano ronaldo from a 500k pack but that's very rare unless that unless you are very lucky it would be better to plan for maybe coins or skill boosts or training XP. I would say this, if you are waiting for coins, you are looking for coins, you want to train some of your players. This is the best time to do that, guys. These 14 days, you can make a lot of coins. Make the most out of this event and make the most out of this market crash. And if you do these things, you'll be left with over 20 million coins at the end of the event. Okay guys, and that's it from me for now. Bye-bye guys.